Hi, welcome to Ongoing Subscriptions. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a subscription discount using Shopify discount codes to make the first subscription order completely free. This is good if you really just want to get people in the door, subscribe to say like a subscription box or a subscription product that you think they'll really love and stick on for the second order. And if your margins will allow for this, this is a really great marketing um, opportunity to really get people in the door. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to have a product on Shopify. So here I have a surprise monthly subscription box. You can have any product you want. It doesn't have to be a subscription box. You can sell whatever product. So the second thing you'll want to do is have a subscription app for Shopify installed, such as ongoing. Ongoing works automatically with Shopify discounts, and it is also built for Shopify. So we're native to Shopify. And then the next thing is we're going to go to the discount codes and we're going to go ahead and apply um, the discount code to subscriptions. So what we want to do is we're going to name the discount code. So I'll show you how I did it. I click on discounts and the first thing I did is I created a discount and I clicked amount off product. And then we're going to stick with discount code and then we're going to name it. So I'll go ahead and go back just so you know where I went. So first here I named it. We're going to do first order free. Do not click automatic discount because that doesn't work with subscriptions. Uh, only the discount code that people have to manually enter, which is really nice because you can send this discount code, for example, like in a newsletter and make it feel really exclusive and give people FOMO that, you know, it's a limited time only, that sort of thing creates some buzz. You can also put this in an announcement bar on your website. Also a nice way to keep people on your website longer, shopping. And third, you could put it in a Shopify product description. So we're gonna go ahead and move on. For the percentage, you could put 100%. You could also change this to whatever um, you want, but in this example, we're just talking about the first order is free. Then we're gonna click subscription. So it doesn't apply to everything, just a subscription. And then next we're gonna click um, a specific subscription product because most likely you're not gonna wanna have this crazy awesome promo on everything. So in this case, I have my surprise monthly subscription box. Second, you're gonna have to choose a minimum purchase requirement. Totally up to you what you wanna do on any of this. Um, this is just my example, so I have no minimum requirement and it's applicable to anyone. So I kept it on all customers. Maximum discount uses, again, totally um, your choice in terms of what you want to do. In my case, I'm going to put limit to one use per customer because it's a really nice promo. And most importantly, for recurring payments for subscriptions, the limit the discount to the first payment only. You don't want them getting this free forever. So let's go ahead and click save. And so far, I think this is pretty much um, what we want uh, to have. Remember to have your active dates. Um, in this case, let's say that I'm only running the promo until tomorrow because it's such a good promo. I'm not going to have this forever. And that's about it. So remember to always look at your summary. We have it already active. It's a, a percentage off a product and they're going to have to enter a manual code. It's 100% off one specific subscription product. So it's not applying to everything. It's just one subscription product. It applies to subscription purchases, not one-time purchases. It's limited to the first recurring payment, meaning they order it, they'll get a free you know, subscription order the first time, but on the next round, on the next order, which automatically renews, they're gonna have to pay the full amount. And every time after that, it's the full amount. So it goes back to the regular price and we're gonna have no minimum purchase requirement. It's gonna apply to all customers. It's only gonna be one use per customer and they can't combine with other discounts. And it's gonna be active today for like 24 hours. So this is how I would set it up. Next, um, we already have our, our, our product here and I've wired it up with ongoing subscriptions. So I'll show you that right now. With ongoing subscriptions, which is the best Shopify subscriptions app, you can 
create a subscription um, plan such as you know a monthly delivery right here on the actual Shopify product page by clicking these options right here so I already have it or you can do it directly in the Shopify um, app called ongoing by going to subscription groups and then I quickly created a monthly subscription box plan so here's my product and I created this in like five seconds. So monthly delivery, deliver every month, billing every month, no discount. So that's pretty much it. And you can see that it's wired up right here. So now all I wanna do is test it out. All right, so I'm gonna show you like a cooking show what it looks like at the end. It does work really nicely. So here I have some, um, some you know, fake test order data. And basically you can see when I apply the discount first order free, it does take off all of the money for the first order. And so what's left for the customer is shipping. So they're gonna have to pay shipping, but then after that, the recurring total is 45 every month. So it looks like it works really well. Let me go ahead and show you how this works. So here I have my product, surprise monthly subscription box. I'm gonna say, you know what, <clears throat> I wanna click Add to cart and I'm gonna click um, view cart I'm gonna redo this all so we'll go to checkout all right so Shopify saves information but basically you know I entered my email I put some um, some fake data here continue to shipping and I already put my discount code so if you guys want to see how it looks let's go ahead and restart this so you can see I have to pay $45 if I don't have a discount code, but if I have a discount code, boom, it's now $0. But you can see that it's $45 every month after that. So um, we'll go ahead and just continue the payment. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some test Tester info. So this is all just fake info. We're doing a test order. And it says, I understand that we have subscriptions and we're rocking and we're rolling and we're click pay now. And we see that it worked. So with ongoing subscriptions, the customer subscriber instantly gets access to a subscriber portal. So when they click here, they can go to the subscriber portal and they'll be able to access and manage their subscription. So here they can click on it and they can see all the details about their subscription. Next, what I want to show you, um, one thing that you can do is that you can actually add minimum time commitments to this. So let's say that you tell them, hey, you can get your first box free, but it's a minimum time commitment of three months. Um, that's another thing that you can do with ongoing. So you can say show advance, and then you can require a minimum time commitment of three months, something like that. Um, so there's a lot of neat things that you can do with ongoing in terms of you know, having these awesome promos and working directly with Shopify and getting people in the door. And then I wanted to show you that on ongoing subscriptions, when we click on subscriptions, we can see that Hank Williams, who is the customer I just created right now, um, that he is right here. He has a subscription box every month and his delivery price was 434 and his max billing will be in one month, which is June 5th. And you can see all the details here. So as a merchant, you have full control over everything um, in terms of like editing anything. Um, and then also the customer themselves has their subscriber portal where they have access to controlling their, their subscription order as well. So I hope this was a nice little demo of how you can use Shopify discounts with ongoing subscriptions to create a first free recurring order for a customer and let us know if you have any questions we're always available at ongoing subscriptions we look forward to having you use the ongoing subscriptions app 
You can find us on the Shopify app store by searching for ongoing subscriptions right here. And then we will pull up ongoing subscriptions and you can see um, that our app is available and you can use it on any Shopify store with any theme. We work with all Shopify stores, plus and not plus, any theme, you got it.